I'm so lonely, it's not even funny. Why are you laughing? I said it's not funny. <laughs> if you know of any single ladies out there, <laughs> oh, I'm available. What is up everybody, Mr. Aviator here bringing you a brand new series here to Aviator Games called That's Life. Now in this series, I'm going to be playing on The Sims 3, taking you guys from the very beginning of someone's life, all the way to the very end where they die of old age, or some other causes like starting off fire or something that we can't predict. Now how this series is going to work is I'm going to use your guys' comments to determine how my life goes. So leave your comments down below right now and you can see your comment in the next episode of That's Life. And also, if you think this girl is fat and you like the idea of this series, drop a big fat like on this video. It would mean a lot to show your support. I'll just kid her. She's not fat. She's beautiful. Well, okay, let's get started. So the first thing we got to do in life, as soon as you move out of your parents' house, is you most likely have to get a job. Or you should have probably did this before you moved out of your parents' house because... That's not good to not have a job and you have all these expenses. Ooh, that's not fun. Okay, so let's run over. We're going to actually get a job in the business career field because I've always kind of wanted to own my own business. Ever since I was a young kid, I took a whole bunch of business classes when I was in high school. Aviator fun fact. Hashtag. Um, and I think it would be really fun to become the CEO of a company uh, that the whole company's success rests on our shoulders. I like pressure. Okay, take a class of charisma, learn a charisma. We're not going to enroll in university just yet. We don't need a head start. Okay, so business, coffee courier. Uh, so I technically think that's a fancy term for you get people's coffee and donuts in the morning. 27 bucks an hour, okay. Okay, we only have to work six hours a day. I'll accept that career five days a week. Uh, let's also go to City Hall and attend a charisma class because that's a goal of ours. Now, to get ahead in life, you do have to go to school. That's what I'm told. I ended up going to college, hashtag gave you a fun fact, and I ended up dropping out after one semester because I really wanted to focus all my energy into YouTube. So, yeah. Oh, text. Send a text to Wei Kion? Oh, that's our boss. Okay. Okay, we're going to send a text to our boss after this. We're trying to earn all these lifetime reward points right now, you guys. Now, my big goal with my character in his life is to become very successful in our job, become the CEO of a mega corporation, you know, get level 10 in our career path, uh, find a beautiful woman, uh, get married to her, uh, graduate college, technically not in an order, but graduate college, get a diploma, have kids, have grandkids, uh, be super rich, own a whole bunch of nightclubs, move to New York, get waste. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm sidetracking a little bit. Uh, okay, so let's quickly go to social networking text. We're going to send a friendly text to our boss. Uh, we got to let him know, like, we got to kind of suck up because uh, we haven't gone to college yet. We're not very educated. I think we'll end up going to college. Like, well, like I said, it's up to you guys in the comments down below. And drop that big fat like. Do it. Okay, let's get started. We Kanye. <laughs> we, we Kiane. I don't know. Uh, okay, it just sounded funny when I said we Kanye. <gasps> Who's this? Yeah, screw texting our boss. Our boss is stupid. I want to talk to this girl. Use charming intro. Uh, charming introduction. Let's do it. Hello, my name's Aviator. What's yours? Okay, so let's see how good this girl is. We're going to write her on Hot or Not right here. Oh, gross. Uh, six? 6.5? Well, we can always use a friend, right? You know, you need friends in real life. So that's. I think we're going to make a couple of acquaintances so we can have some get-togethers. Maybe she's got a beautiful friend. So we have to take this all into account, you guys, before we totally throw her off the bus. Okay, so let's... um. Yeah, we'll tell her about our new job. Why not? We're going to be a little ambitious here. We're going to tell our funny story and maybe show her some internet cat videos. Let's do it. Now, I don't know if I, I don't, definitely don't want to be romantic just because I don't want her to think, you know, that I'm going to be having sex with her or anything because I'm just pretty sure it's not going to happen because uh, she looks like she could be on the heroin. I'm not going to confirm this. I can't spread rumors, but she might be on the heroin. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so let's talk to her. What is her name? I thought her name was Butter for a second. It's Blaze. Okay, that is a, that's a name. That's a unique name. Let's give her a high five. You know, we want her to know we're friends, please. Don't fall in love with us. We're just friends. Uh, <laughs> you know your friend zone when you get a high five. Uh, tell a joke. Okay, so we're gonna run this. Okay, this girl's a little bit beautiful. Let's see, Scout Sergeant. Okay, I give her a seven. Okay, so she's definitely an improvement. The girls in this town are not that beautiful. That's kind of a misleading thing here. When I, when I came to the town, they said, hey, we got beautiful women. Invite Sim over. No, we're not gonna be friendly to him. And we can flirt. Okay, so let's just flirt with her. See where this goes. Give her a little quick flirt. Now, it doesn't mean I'm gonna be romantically interested in her. I just wanna, just wanna kind of test the waters, you know. 
Maybe we had a drink or something. Maybe we are unaware of our surroundings right now. So we're going to flatter her a little bit. Get to know her a little bit more. You know, I don't intend this going anywhere. Definitely not even a one-night stand. I just feel like I'm going to get herpes. So I got to be careful. You got to be careful in life, you guys. Life lesson number one. Be careful. <laughs> be careful for the women that may have herpes. Okay, so... What time does work start tomorrow? She's athletic. It's right discovered. I could tell. Okay, so 8 a.m. So the, the carpool will be there at 7 in the morning. So we're going to try to become friends with her, and then we're probably going to call it a night from her. Just be like, yo, we got to go, me and lady. Oh, you want us to go back to your house? Oh, wow. Uh, I'm a little tired. Uh, uh, I'm going to run. Oh, why am I running? I have no idea. See you later. That was me going off into the distance. Okay, so now we're tired and extremely hungry. So look at the town we live in, you guys. Let me give you a quick overview. So this is a small city. Uh, we can move towns. That's all up to you guys. Like I said, you guys control this series and control my life. You actually control where I, where I end up in life. Okay, so, yeah, it's a small town, like farm town, you know, it's just a tiny little village. It's kind of how I actually grew up in real life, a beautiful fun fact, hashtag. Um, I grew up in a really small city, so this, this, this should not be a challenge. So we're going to eat a quick green salad when we get home. Um, and then, uh, do we have to go pee? No, we, we must have peed ourselves uh, when we were gone. Uh, okay, so let's quickly eat this green salad. Then we got to hit the sack. Now, this house... We're kind of broke right now. I only have four grand, which can barely buy you a good bed um, in The Sims. So we really don't have enough money to get get this house upgraded right now. Uh, we have to add some things. Maybe change the decor around a little bit. But I, until then, it feels right to live this poor, you know? We just moved out of our parents' house. We should struggle a little bit. No one should have it easy right when you move out of your parents' house. So maybe this will be a good life lesson for us. I don't know. We'll see. That's life, right? <laughs> Catch fries. Okay, so let's go to sleep. Let's wake up in the morning. We got our first day of work. Now, whenever I'm about to start a new job, I actually get super nervous and excited. I don't know if you guys get like this. Tell me in the comments. So basically, when I'm about to start a new job, uh, in real life, that is, I ended up waking up super early the next day. So say I have to wake up at 6 a.m. to get ready and go to work. I end up waking up at like 5, 30, 4 o'clock. You know, it just ranges. Sometimes, like, when, when I had to start my construction job a few years ago, like, four years ago now. Um, basically, I woke up at four in the morning. I didn't have to be to work till seven. And I just got ready. I sat in the kitchen. I ate a bologna sandwich in the morning. I was like, okay, now what am I going to do with myself in the next hour? So uh, that's probably what we're going to do. We're going to wake up early, take a shower, you know, we gotta go to the bathroom. We should probably go to the bathroom first, just in case we take a poop. That way we can take a shower and be nice and clean <laughs> after the, after the life lesson, right? Wait, why do we have laundry? Oh, gross. I don't want laundry. I don't want to have to do laundry. This is like real life now. Okay, so we're going to the bathroom. We're going to quickly shower. It is time to eat a quick meal of uh, bread and jam. Now, let's eat some, uh, you know, it's the morning. Let's have cereal. That makes sense. Okay, so, oh, God, wow. Carpool's here already. Gonna have to go to work. Come on, get out of the shower. No lawn showers here. Okay, so now what are we going to do in our first day of work? We could meet our coworkers. I think that's a good one, so we can just know some of the people we work with and then kind of befriend them and then suck up to our boss, you know. Take it kind of easy, since it's the beginning of the week, we should just meet people we work with. The summer festival has arrived. Fuck yeah. Okay, so what are our goals right now? I like to know these. Befriend we, so that's our boss. That's something we can easily do. Start a water balloon fight. I'm not feeling that one right now. Okay, so what can we do to upgrade this house a little bit? Now, this house is in dire need of an upgrade, my friends. Uh, as you can see, the paint is definitely a, po a pre 1960s, uh, and then we have the bed, which is definitely pre 1940s. Um, the chairs, oh, those are fabulous. That was probably from a hunting cabin where the hunter died, and we just took his stuff. Um, and then the bathroom, oh, I can't, I can't get over it. It's definitely ghetto New York or something, right? And then we got this nice kitchen that you can tell that this fridge definitely fell from the 1950s nuke testing lab. Okay, so we ate at work. We're all happy. We want to sing karaoke. That's not gonna happen. Uh uh. Okay, so we're on our way home, made 150 bucks. Nothing impressive. Boss wasn't impressed. We met Lucy Fern at work. Oh, that's cool. Maybe we'll invite her over, see if she likes us. Uh, our guy's tired, and he wants to have some fun. So what can we do that's fun? We don't have anything in this house that's fun. How about we just invite someone over, because that's one of our goals. Uh, we're going to invite over the girl we met. Uh, let's see how pretty she is. Uh, she's not showing her face on Facebook. I mean, on the phone. Uh, so hopefully she's not ugly. Uh, we're totally stressed out right now. I don't know why. Visit the neighborhood pool. We're not going to do that. What's he doing? What's in here? Oh, God. We have to pay bills already? 77 bucks? What a ripoff. Okay, so we just paid $77 to keep our great house uh, over our head. Wait, where are we going? Oh, my God. We have a washer. We have a washer in the backyard. And a clothesline. 
Now this is class. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely class. Where's that girl? She probably decided not to come when she drove by her house. She was probably like, gross! This guy's poor. Why are we so single and so broke? Now there's more laundry! I can't get away from it. We're gonna let him sleep just a little bit because it's too early to go to bed for good. Okay, get back up. Now we're gonna eat a little more now oh, green salad. It's, is that what poor 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 start off seat? I think I never ate salad in my life when I was starting off. I think I had ramen. They should have a ramen option in the fridge. Okay, so let's let's take a quick shower and go to the bathroom so we can be ready. Maybe we'll stay up a little bit later. So that way right when we wake up we'll just head out out to work. Let's set the bed ownership to me. Uh oh, the toilet broke. Oh no. It's like real life. I have to fix I have responsibilities. Oh, this isn't good. Now I'm just dreaming about how broken the toilet is. <sighs> the stress. It's setting in. I can feel it. Okay. Let's get through this night without killing ourselves. <laughs> okay, actually, we need to buy something. We do have 4,200 bucks. And we do have this chair here. We have this nice little chair set. I think we can afford a TV. Now, uh, we don't need a really good TV. Old-timey telly. Why not? Old-timey telly looks pretty good. Uh, so there. There's an old-timey television. Uh, I don't know if we can actually... We'll put that there uh, so we can watch the TV in the morning. Now, this definitely looks like one of the first TVs I had. I had a crappy big tube TV when I first moved out, so th this this should definitely be good. This is definitely... <laughs> oh, look at We're hanging clothes on the laundry! Wait, wait, when did we ever wear these type of clothes? This looks like a girl's shirt. Oh, ah, that is a girl's shirt! What the hell? Why am I wearing girl's clothing? No wonder why I'm single. That's life! <laughs> okay, so... Actually, eh, we can eat at work. I'm not gonna eat. I, I, we can eat at work. I'm just gonna have my guy watch a little television, get a little entertainment going, and then we should be good. It's already almost 4 in the morning. That's ridiculous. We sleep so late, it feels like. We're on the bayou. We're in the swamp. We should be waking up at the crack of dawn. Actually, we don't have to wake up yet. It's only 5 in the morning. He should be waking up at 5.30. Oh, 5.15. Good. Early riser. Okay, so let's go here. Now, we're gonna change this to... What channels do we have? Sports Universe. I like watching sports. Aviator Fun Fact. I love NFL Network. It's my favorite channel. Okay. So he's having a little fun. We're watching the tube television here. It's nothing nothing horrible. Oh. Carpool's already here for work. Gotta get ready. Yeah, I'm pissed off too. I'm trying to watch sports and then I have to go to work. We got dirty laundry. We got girls' clothes on the clothesline. Ah, what's the world coming to? Okay, so we're going to not buy a dartboard, not buy firecrackers. Are we stupid? Okay, so let's go to work. We're going to, you know, continue to meet coworkers. We want to meet them all. I think we're going to get promoted even. Yeah, oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we'll be promoted by the end of the week, which is good. Our first week at work and we get a promotion. Now that would be cause for celebration. Okay. So once we finish work, I want to try to invite that girl over. I want to see if she'll come. Uh, but when we get done, I think I'll shower and then invite her over. So that way we're nice and clean. We're out of our work clothes and we don't have to worry about her judging us right away. We do have all this dirty laundry. Which I guess is a pain. I think we should get a clothes hamper. Let's do... Actually, let's do... Yeah, let's do that really quick. So let's get a big swamp cattail. Uh, I don't want that there. I want that back where that was, okay? Uh, so let's see. Uh, where is... Is it here? Is this where they put washers and dryers? Uh, I, I, I've never done laundry before, I, to be honest with you. Oh, here it is. Okay, laundry. Uh, okay, so we're not going to upgrade our washer. Of course, that would be silly. We're going to just get this uh, basket here. And we're going to put our clothes in there. So there we go. So now we don't have the clothes. That's definitely a needed upgrade. Boom. Look at all those clothes falling in there. It's like winning the lottery of clothes. I don't know why all those women clothes are in my uh, thing. It's almost like I take them home from work. I murder them, and then I keep their clothes and do their laundry. I'm the obsessed with laundry killer. Oh, it's a laundry bandit. He steals people's clothes and puts them on his line. These white pants are too tight for him. I don't know why he's got that on his line. Okay, so we don't want to buy a hot tub. We cannot afford that right now. My guy's got these big wishes. Okay, come on. What Are we close to getting promoted? Oh, wow, we're doing pretty well, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so learn bot building skill, uh, learn social media skill. That's nothing we're interested in. We're going to get home and shower and then invite somebody over. Try to get that girl over. I don't know why she stiffed us yesterday. She said she was coming over, and then she just didn't show up. We made $161 today. Hit a little more than usual. Met a few more people. Okay, cool, cool. Um, okay, let's get out of the shower. Invite that girl over. We don't want to... I'm not technically thinking we're going to get in a relationship this soon. We just want to meet some girls and you know see what they're all about. Okay, so let's see who our coworkers are. 
So we have uh, Pantina Gnack, uh, Marigold Racket, who looks old. Lucy Fern. Okay, she looks pretty good. We'll invite Lucy over. So she knows us from work. Uh, spend any time. I want. I don't think I want to spend any time with you right now. Rejected. Oh, how could you do this to us, Lucy? We're your best friend at work. You promised me. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of That's Life. If you did, please leave a like on the video. Show me that you want more of this. I'm really going to have fun with this series. I love doing the Sims. If you want more Sims, I do have my second channel, Aviator Games. I'll link it down below. I do Sims on there a few times a week, a good four or five. Uh, and also, leave a comment down below what we should do next in our life. So that way, I kind of have an idea and I can structure it around your guys' ideas. But until then, remember to take it easy. Let's squeezy. Hey, if you haven't seen the newest BAM Lounge video, go check it out. Bird is actually loved by all of us.